Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can load up the pieces we're using inside our Creativity View project using a custom view in here known as Art View. We'll see how we can actually work with the Art View itself right here and then how we can load it inside our Content View replacement, the CreativityView.swift file. So as you can see right here, we're going to start off right here inside our controller group. We have an Art View. It's just a regular view. It has three data members that go along with it. And when we're talking about that, we need this so we can actually talk about the pieces we're using to load this and describe the information. As you can see, we have three string data members. We have the art name, the description and title. The art name is what the file name is. Again, because since we're using assets.xe assets to hold all the images we're working with inside this, the art name is how I can load that image up there directly and put it inside the image file itself inside there. The description and title are so I can provide some information so it displays it kind of like it's a museum piece. As you can see right here, I'm using a couple um, font modifiers. I have a headline font for the title, so it clearly gives a nice little bold little structure for that one. So it's, oh, here's the title piece right there. On the description um, font, we have that set for a caption. It's a little bit lower, uh, smaller font, making it it's like, oh, it looks like something that we would see maybe below a picture at a museum. Again, we're trying to make it so we're showing that art, displaying the information itself. And finally, the image itself, right there in the middle of that, using the V stack, we have it set to be resizable and an aspect ratio is set to fit. Because even if our image is this huge, we want to make sure we can squish it down inside the screen itself and make sure it's visible easily. And so we'll have the resizable and then aspect ratio fit. So it'll squish it down if it needs to, or if it's a little tiny piece, it'll stretch it off a bit. Now remember, of course, if you do squish a picture, it's going to look, um, the details are going to get a little bit lost. And if you stretch it out, you'll um, definitely lose all the detail when it stretches out and if we zoom out too much, it's going to be hard to see. So make sure when you do pick a picture that you do have something that's a little bit actually, you know, visible as something about the right size. To make this best, of course, you would, of course, have your resized images for the 2x the 3x version so to load the appropriate sized image for it based on the screen itself but if you don't have that at least you can go from there so that's just the art view itself it's how we're holding all those pieces together let's go ahead and see how we're going to work with that inside our creativity view itself inside our creativity view you can see inside the um, body itself we have our three sections we have the section for our haiku for our computer art, and then our drawings in the haiku section you can see that we're loading each of our haiku images the ones the haiku we created then put it as an image we load the haiku with the art name. We give it a description of what that haiku is about. And finally, a title as well, because again, we're sending those parameters to load itself into that art view appropriately. And so I click right here on Java haiku. I click on the preview button. It takes me to that. It takes the parameter right here of Java haiku for the art name and loads the associated image. The description comes down here and puts down in the description section. And the title looping goes up here and goes in the title section so it can load all that information up directly for us. And that will work the same way for the Swift haiku and the SQL haiku or squirrel haiku. You know, when they get a quick little squirrel joke right there. I know it's silly, but it's who I am. We have our computer art section. It's the same basic thing. I've got a couple different navigation links right there. In this case, I've got an art view for a duck grid two and duck grid three. So I'm gonna load those pictures up that I've got inside my assets.xe assets. And I click on ducks, it takes it in. As you can see right there, I have a 2D array of ducks inside a cardboard um, egg carton. Wonderful thing to talk about with 2D arrays. And it's got my little uh, description right here, down here as the bottom. My title gets loaded up here at the top, just like before. It's using that same basic approach. We can make this even better by adding more features. And then finally, when I go to my drawing section, I I'm not using an art view on those because the drawings themselves do not have art views. They're things that are dynamically generated with code. And so each of my different components, I just use the navigation link. I have a destination set for what I'm actually loading, in this case, turtle view, spirograph view, or Bob Ross view, or any of the other views that you create inside your project. You'll load those up directly. And that's how you can make those happen and work within that. And again, because I'm using that navigation view, it makes it so easy to load and display. It works really well. And it makes it so we can immediately have that built-in navigation structure right there inside our app. And and so that's how we can use creativity view combined with the art view to load all the pieces for our final project and have a really cool and amazing project and do some fun things. Thanks again. Hope you have a great time and we'll see you next time. Cheers.